Hey ladies and gents, this is Isdawiz coming at you with the review of the Mythic Legions Deluxe Goblin Legion Builder figure. Here we go. Um, this is a look at the um, insert, which shows that he's a member of the Legend of Erethir, but this is a Goblin Legion Builder, so he is basically... Uh, not a named character. He's somebody to help fill out your ranks. He's uh, cheaper. Uh, I think he was available originally from the from Four Horsemen Toy Design for around twenty six dollars, something like that. So he has less paint apps, and that's why you are able to get him at a cheaper price. But I personally think he is a perfect little gobbo gobble figure because he's cute he's cute he's ugly um and he is absolutely awesome i would say goblins aren't some of my favorite dwarves aren't some of my favorites but then when you take the dwarf body and you combine them with a the little you know nasty looking goblin um this really hits the sweet spot with me i think it's uh, a great design i like that chunky little uh, dwarf body it's absolutely adorable and just the combination of this you know um is that an overbite or an underbite i'm not sure but his lower lip extends and his teeth protrude and then you've got his beady little eyes just glowing yeah uh yellow it's got good paint apps where it needs them to be which is around the face area i really love the helmet with the horns i like the battle damage on the helmet as you can see the sculpted scrapes um just you know the head has a ton of character you know um and then the rest of it we've got muted tones um a metallic sort of uh armor but a different color from his helmet so it's not matchy it's mismatchy which goes really really well and then it's got one of my favorite shields which is this turtle shield or i don't know maybe a terrapin or a tortoise or some some kind of an aquatic uh creature and it's got um, metal spikes on it so that's kind of like a green or a khaki military color so you do have some variations you got this sort of um approximating a leather straps made of plastic not leather of course and then you've got the um loincloth which is a brown fur and then you got this green you've got this metallic color and then of course the um the helmet and then just the touch of the horns the t so, so so you've got some colors there even though there's not a lot in very, very detailed paint apps. You got this double bladed, bladed scythe weapon that comes apart, which we've seen before. So he can, you know, ha have uh, dual wielding blades. And I really love this nasty little um, knife here. It's a weapon with, with all these spikes and serrated uh, edges to it. So like a saw, a stabby knife, and just something that just is just nasty um, enough to really give this little goblin a sinister edge to him. So um, I love that um, y y all the personality that, that comes with him. But at the same time, you can put him in your allegiance so he can be a background to maybe some of your um, named characters like Noglin. Um, King Noglin or whatever, and just fill out those ranks. I also think he looks really, really good, although less bulky. If you uh, remove the pauldrons, it gives him a little bit more of a different silhouette, but still um, a very, very pleasing look there. I really like uh, how that looks as well without the pauldron. So, you know, you can have two pauldrons on, you can put one pauldron on him to have him look more like asymmetrical and that's uh, you know you can take this front uh, guard off and that's how you mix and match your legions you can also mix and match this guy with you know plenty of uh, dwarves and and one point out body parts and just create whatever it is that you want to create i really want to 
applied the four horsemen for the design of the shield. I like that you have this detachable handle and it can go in in two different places. Um, it's got two pegs there in the back. So depending on whether you want him to hold it in his right or left hand, you can pick a peg and it, it looks really nice. And then it's got this peg on here so you can put it on his back kind of like a turtle and you know he can carry it into battle that way until he needs it so that looks really cool i think in my estimation as well um so whether you like him with the pauldrons on or off or they uh, or the shield on the back or whatever you get plenty of options to work with with this little um, armored char uh, character and it just it just oozes personality I think it's just the design of the helmet and the horns and the face and all of that um, I'll show you what he looks like size wise compared to the other legion builders here is the um, dark templar and of course there's a nice size difference there especially with the templars horns up top giving them some extra height but as you can see what he lacks in height he makes up in sort of girth so he's a he, he's a you know chunky strong little guy and then um show him next to um pelvicus from the furious four and you can see what he looks like up next to a, a human figure with a lot more paint apps because this is a named character and part of a um, Legion's Con exclusive. Uh, and, and I showed in my last review, which was of the um, Deluxe Barbarian Builder, how easy it is to just take a metallic Sharpie, like a silver Sharpie, and touch up these uh, rivets and bolts and stuff to make uh, your goblin pop a little more if you want him to. I think there's two ways to go. Um, goblins, I think, are generally known for maybe being dirty, muddy, bloody, uh, something like that. But um, you could also add some gold accents or some silver accents, whatever, and make his make him pop in that way. So I'll take this off. I think where. Um, there would be a good opportunity to add some paint would be on the shield, specifically here on the metal um, points. And yeah, I know, I understand that they wanted to keep costs down, but something to differentiate the green of the um, shield from the metal studs that are poking out there um, would have been good on that. But obviously we have so many talented customizers in the community that doing something like that is going to pose absolutely no problem for anyone um let's see here i don't want to lose my shield handle um oh let me show you the back of the box it's that sort of uh really nice neat barch art i want to get nate in and show you guys some of his art and some of his um, really cool prints that are available for Legion's Con and sometimes at some of the other cons. This has um, some new art on it. Um, you know, it's, and it shows the Legion builders are featured there. There's the Gabo. Uh, there's the Dark Templar, there's the Deluxe Barbarian Builder, and this guy who I haven't reviewed yet, but will soon. And then it shows them here on the side. Um, a really neat opportunity for people to get these in and to um, get them in at a cheaper price, right? And it, do what, what, what Legion's... Uh, Mythic Legions is all about just build your legions, pop and swap, exercise your cre creativity, paint things up, and uh, you know, do, do configure them in your preferred manner, and uh, do whatever it is that you want to do. Personalize your your uh, things. So anyway, um, we've got the two 
uh, pauldrons here, the shield, the double-bladed scythe, the um, serrated edge knife, and the figure. And that's what you get. And for the price of a Marvel Legend, if you buy it directly from the Four Horsemen, that is a bang-up deal. So, all right. Um, that's it for this review. Is the Wiz signing out.